Hello guys, what is up, it's King Christo here, and today I'm here for another video, and today we are here for take three of a new series I'm starting. Now, why is it take three? Because twice in a row, I forgot to turn my mic's power supply on, and so you guys had no audio. So yeah, take three. Um, so basically the new series right now, what it's going to be, is you guys will suggest um, a so a set of requirements for PC build that I'm going to make. Maybe you're thinking of building a PC and you need requirements and you want me to make you a list because you're scared that your list is not going to be as good. Now, this build right here was suggested by Sebast2002. Now, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. If I did, I'm very sorry. But he said... Make a build under $600 that uses Ryzen 5. And so I will do exactly what he just said. And also, I want you guys to keep in mind that I am really thanking Sebas here for re requesting this build and giving me the idea. And also, I really hope that you guys can suggest your own builds. Remember, all you have to do is comment down below in the videos that I make. Um, if but if you comment down below, I will consider your build. Now, one of the better ways to get your build on my channel is to simply go on to the um, link that will be down in the description. It will be a Discord link. And click on that and join my Discord server and ask me on Discord. Um, Sebast actually asked me on a different Discord server. But go in the description and ask on my Discord server. And I will almost definitely put your build on the channel. So needless to say, let's get right into the build. So first of all, for our processor, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 1400, as you can see up here. It does run at 3.2 GHz, and it is a 4-core processor, or quad core. Um, and one of the main reasons I'm going for this, obviously, is because he did want Ryzen. And the 1400 is the cheapest of all the Ryzen 5 processors right now. And for the strict budget of $600 or below that we have, it is going to be needed that we um, can't really um, overindulge on things like this. Now, even though this is a cheaper processor at only $165, um, let me tell you, there are a lot worse processors that you can get for over this price point that um, are only dual core, not even quad core, or just have less hertz ratings and they just don't run as well so this is definitely a great price for this processor right here and so that's why I picked this processor and also one more thing just to let you know um, I am actually using the stock CPU cooler that comes with this and so we will not be purchasing an aftermarket CPU cooler um, to save on costs now, one of the cheapest AM4 motherboards is the MSI B350M Gaming Pro. Um, for only $80, it's definitely a steal. It definitely has a sort of black and red color scheme, which is perfectly fine. Um, and it definitely fits the gaming mood. Now, when we look at this, it is a micro ATX motherboard, so if you're making a build similar to this, um, you can have, and you're using this motherboard, you can have micro ATX cases up to um, EATX cases, but I don't know why you'd get an EATX with a micro ATX board. I'm just saying you can. Now, it does have two RAM slots, which will be enough for this build. Um, like I said, the AM4 socket, which is the type of so socket that our CPU will use, and it has all the essentials we need. It has a PCIe time 16 slot and it has enough USB 2 headers for our front IO and it has enough USB 3 and whatnot and it will be perfect for the price and for the uses of this and obviously with B350 you can actually overclock as well so if you want you can also do that. Now for our RAM I found some of the cheapest RAM that one had over 2000 megahertz for the speed and two is at least eight gigabytes i found the g scale aegis eight gigabyte ram kit for a measly price of 61 dollars 89 now the reason i went for this ram and not some other rams because i actually did find some that were cheaper is because on the ones that were cheaper they had really really ugly pcb showing which is like the green plastic that you see on older computer parts and 
I did not want that because, honestly, that just looks bad nowadays. And these don't actually have full heat spreaders. I think they just use stickers right here. But once again, it's red and black, so it kind of fits the theme. And overall, for the budget, this will perform just fine. Um, 8 gigabytes is definitely a sweet spot for budget builds. Um, when it comes to when you're thinking about it, should I get 4 gig? Should I get 16? I think 8 is definitely that sweet spot where you aren't spending more than your budget. But at the same time, it will definitely um, be enough for you to do most tasks as long as you're not going to be doing something like like 4K video editing or anything like that. Now for our storage, we're going with a Western Digital Blue 1 terabyte hard drive. Um, this is the cheaper of the hard drives from Western Digital and does give you a full terabyte of space, which is enough for the average user, the person who would probably be making this build um, to install games on and whatnot. Um, Along with that, it's less than $50, as you can see the price is right here, and it's definitely very good. Now, we aren't going to be able to put an SSD in this build because even the cheapest SSD is around $50 as well, and that would put us over our price range, but that would be pretty easily upgraded later on if you did want to put an SSD to use as a boot drive, or you were ab um, able to go up a little bit higher um, to around 630 to 650 dollars instead of below 600 um but yeah this drive is definitely reliable and it's one of the most popular drives actually used right now um for that reason and so it will definitely serve us well and so yeah that's why i picked this hard drive now for the graphics card i was looking at rx 460s rx 570s and 1050 ti's because those are all the budget graphics cards and now the thing about the RX 460s is that they have a very low clock speed and I don't think that those RX 460s would really, not that I'm saying they wouldn't be able to play games, but not as good as a 1050 Ti or an RX 570. Now the RX 570 didn't fully fit the budget, it was a little bit too expensive if we wanted to get decent cooling, but this 1050 Ti has ACX 3.0, which is actually the two fans on this card, which will cool the card quite nice and so because graphics cards get really 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 hot and you don't want your graphics card getting super hot and end up damaging itself or other parts in the build and so when I look at a graphics card cooling is one of the biggest things that I look at um it also did have a, um, a better uh, rating on its um, hertz how many hertz it runs at um, than the 460, like I said, that wasn't really as fast as this, um, and so all in all, for $140, which is actually a lot of the money that is spent on this build is on the graphics card, but it will get you through most games at 1080p at medium-ish settings, and I think that's enough for most people that are making this build, and like I said, it has, it has very good cooling, it should be perfectly fine when it comes to thermals. And so yeah, that's why I chose this graphics card, um, mainly just because it was the cheaper graphics card with still decent cooling, and yeah, that's it. So now for our power supply, we have the Corsair CX600. So our system in total would probably use around 250 watts, so 600 watts is actually a little bit overkill for this build, but that would allow you to upgrade later. It also has 80 plus bronze certification, which is perfectly fine for this price range, and it's it's not the best, but it will still be using a good amount of its power to actually power the system. Now, it's not um, modular at all or anything, but as we'll get to soon, the case doesn't have a window, so honestly, cable management is not the biggest thing that you're going to have to worry about. And for the price of under $50, this power supply is definitely quite a good part to pick up and Corsair is definitely a very trusted brand when it comes to their power supplies and so yeah that's why I picked this power supply just because it will get the job done for a good price and it's just good all around for the price. Now finally for the case we have the Corsair 270R. Now here's why I picked this case. First of all it's under 50 bucks, 
like a lot of the parts in this. I a lot of parts, if you're going for budget build, you want under fifty dollars. Um, unlike some and unlike some of the uh, spec cases, which go, went a little bit over. And honestly, I really like the minimalistic design of this case. I don't really like cases, in my opinion, that are like all like they they like try so hard to look cool that they end up looking like not not that good. I like just a minimalistic case like this right here, and. I'm gonna, this is the newest version in the R series for Corsair, um, which is, like I said, budget cases, and it will just get the job done, and it doesn't have a window, so you won't have to worry too much about cable management and making the inside look good with this case, which is a plus, especially, like I said, a lot of this stuff has to do with going on the budget. With going on the budget, you don't want to worry, have to worry about cable management, and so yeah, that's why I um, chose this specific mid-tower case. It will fit our motherboard, and it'll fit all the parts perfectly fine, and it will have, it has enough features if you want to upgrade later, and yeah, that's all you can really say about a case, besides the looks from outside, if you like it or not. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the build. It comes out to a total of $586, so that is below our $600 mark. It, this build did not include an OS, if you guys thought it might have. Um, but OS's are pretty, you can find them on other sites besides Microsoft's website for fairly cheap, maybe like $30. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is King Christo signing off. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Join the Discord down below in the link. And definitely tell me other builds. Um, and yeah, guys, peace out.